So uh, the plan, instead of building something, and I should give you a hint, it's quite a big talk that's in front of the camera, is to break down all my Lego City stuff. And when I say all, I mean all. This is why because I've got a moratorium on the city line. So in this tub, I've craftily kept all the models, but I've put my books in. So this gives you an idea of what's in here. Police cars. I've got a lot of stuff that are small kits, so they just chucked in bags because I keep all the spares and write on what set they're out of. So you can tell hell of a lot of stuff in here. Which for small ones it's quite useful. Oh yes, there is more. And you see, this is what I was. This is what I've been saying about the three and one. This is the creative three and one. I actually have four of these, so I've got the whale as well. So yeah, but what I've done, drag these out of the way. God knows what order I'm going to do stuffing. Just put like that in, and that in, and then I've got a big bag of random pieces and random vehicles so i've got a few of these bags in here more bags of bits so goodness knows how long this is going to actually take me the plan is to break them down in the reverse order that they're built approximately so i've got loads of different size baggies i've got some more of these as well the little tiny ones so I've got another couple of boxes of bags as well. So hopefully I've got enough stuff here. I dread to think how long it's going to take. I've got a cloth to put on the table, just fold it up. So I am going to go and destroy this massive tub all into pieces. Or at least that's the plan. Not entirely hopeful. I'm just it's falling off already. The ice cream man. But the way I look at it is if I break them up now, it gives me something to rebuild in the future, doesn't it? So I'm going to go away and over probably a week or so of multiple different sessions, break it all down and then look at all my lovely bags of bits when I've done it. So, yeah, pray for me. So, just for interest as to what actually lurks in that tub, I've made a list of all the uh, sets that I stripped off the four shelves that all went into that tub. And they are, oh, I took a deep breath because there's a few. So, the first one is 60263, which is the Ocean Mini Submarine, retails in the UK for $8.99 and has 41 pieces uh, that's a four plus set so of course larger pieces higher price per piece count then we've got 31088 the deep sea creatures set retails for 12.99 in the uk and has 230 pieces as you can see from here i built the three from the actual box instructions and then I went online and found the whale instructions on lego.com so yeah I did buy four of that particular set and construct them yeah I must be mad the next one is 60264 ocean exploration sub retails for $24.99 and has 286 pieces then we have 
set 60265 Ocean Exploration Base, 54.99 and 497 pieces in total. And that is one of my favourites, actually. An ocean Exploration Ship. Retail price is a whopping $124.99 on this one, 745 pieces in total. Uh, quite disappointed in that set overall. Um, the main hull of the ship are two pre-moulded units, which is why it floats, I suppose, but a bit of a letdown. The next one is one of the Creator 3 in 1 set 31090, the underwater robot, 17.99 and 207 pieces. Really, really didn't like the alternate builds on this one, so I just went with the main underwater robot, met dude, and left it at that. I didn't even break him down and try the other sets on that one. Next one is 60283, the holiday camper van, 17.99 and 190 pieces. That's a really fun little set. I love the minifigures in there, the little baby. So cute. Then 3113, the race car transporter. Again, a creator three-in-one set, 24.99 and 328 pieces. I only actually purchased one of those sets, um, built... The additional builds wasn't that keen. The tugboat in particular was terrible. Um, so I just left it built as the race car transporter. Then have set 60249, the street sweeper, 899 and 89 pieces. And it is a proper mwah, set. I love the street sweeper so much. I almost bought some more. Uh, then we move on to set. 60220 the garbage truck 14.99 in the uk and 90 pieces a nice little set great idea i like the spare bricks for the rubbish to tip out of the dumpster into the back of the truck fun little addition then one of my all-time favorite city sets 60253 the ice cream truck 17.99 200 pieces and a shit ton of stickers but boy, is it worth it. I absolutely love that ice cream truck. I was a bit sad to break it up. But the beauty of breaking it up, you can rebuild. Then we have 60244, the police helicopter transport. Retails in the UK at 39 and has 317 pieces. Never did manage to get that helicopter to fly. I don't know if it's just me being inept or if it doesn't really balance that well. Uh, nearest we got to fly was if there was a minifig sat in it. So take that as you will. Uh, set number 60214, the Burger Bar Fire Rescue, 24.99 and 327 pieces. Love the water action on that one to put the fire out. That is a really fun little addition to that i love the little squeezy thing then 60215 the fire station 59.99 and 508 pieces i didn't realize when i bought this that this was a dockside fire station but it is kind of cute and it did work well uh, set 60241 is the police dog unit 8.99 and 67 pieces then we have 60239, the police patrol car at 9.99 and 92 pieces. Did nearly buy an extra couple of those because it is uh, quite a cool car build. Then 60246, the police station, 89.99 and 743 pieces. It um, reminded me very much of the 1970s police stations. Um, you know, quite chunky looking, but it does work well. A lot of playability on that set, a lot and lot of playability. Then one that I just found out is retired, which is 60212 Barbecue Burnout, which has 64 pieces. So I'm going to guess that was probably 12 99 to 19 99 because it's a four plus. So it could well have been a 20 quid set, but it's retired now, so I can't say for certain. 60216 is Downtown Fire Brigade, 89.99 and 943 pieces. The cornicing at the top of this building 
is absolutely beautiful. The two molded pieces that go on either front corner are absolutely spectacular. From memory, I think they're a little grey lion head mold. Oh, they are gorgeous. And the final one is set 30364, which was actually a poly bag. The popcorn cart has 43 pieces and was 349. It's a retail poly bag, so it is only available at retail outlets. I got mine at B&M Bargains. So if you're in the UK, go and check B&M out. They do have um, some little sets in there. So for anybody that's interested at all, I've just sat and worked out the total build time of all those sets was 19 hours. One, nine hours. I'm recording this little section after I've actually brought everything down and decided how I was going to put it together. And yeah, substantially more than it took to build them. <laughs> so finally, finally, finally. Ugh. got the great breakdown finished took somewhere in the region of 10 hours but it's done and it takes up substantially less room in the tub of doom surprising how well it all breaks down i did wonder about the larger set putting them into numbered bags, just rooting for one because what I'll do, this is the police station, I've already been through which sets they are and it just about fits in that freezer bag but I haven't done it in numbered bags or the same with any of the big ones, I've just put them in general bags with the booklets where I can. Obviously the bolt bases are just loose in there. But when I think how long it took to build everything, I only took 10 hours to strip it down and that was four shelves worth upstairs for display. Unfortunately, I need to make more shelf room, so I'm gonna have to break all this stuff down. Don't know what yet. Possibly the hidden side. But I really like the hidden side stuff and I haven't finished building it all yet. So, mm, we'll have to wait and see. The jury is still out on that. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.